Hello guys, this is Deepika from MyTutorialRack.com. In this tutorial, we will deploy an application on Heroku. And we will see how we will be able to communicate between Heroku application and our Salesforce application. So here is the link to deploy the application. I'm going to attach the link to you so you can also download. So this is the application that I'm going to download. It's called Phone Change Application. Now, through this phone change application, I will be able to change the phone number field on any of the contact records. So if you log into Salesforce, if you come to the contacts tab, you see a bunch of contacts listed here. Now, through this particular application, after it is all set to go, I will be able to change the phone number field on these contacts through this application. But this application is deployed on Heroku. So the name of the application is Dkana phone application and uh, it has to be lowercase. Runtime selection is United States. Config variables, we need them. So I'm going to put it in the required and we'll hit the deploy button. Once you do the deploy, these are the steps it's going to take. It will create an application. It will set up the environment. You do not have to worry about these things. Heroku is going to take care. So we already built an application. Now we are deploying that application on Heroku. Since that application is not it's in written in different language, but still we can deploy it on Heroku. So now you're finally able to deploy. If you want to look at the application, you can go to this manage app, click on the manage app button. And uh, this is the app looks like. So these are the different, different tabs available. The sources tab, if you want to add a particular add-on, you can use this tab to add the resources. We will use this tab to add our Heroku Connect add-on and our uh, Postgres uh, database here. So we'll use that, the resources tab. Then if you want to delete a particular app, you can go ahead and do it from the settings. And if you scroll down, if you want to delete an application, there is a button to do that as well. And uh, if you go up here, access if you wanted to go ahead and access the collaborators this is the owner because um, it gives you who has the access to it so now we let's go ahead and take a look open the app so if you go ahead and click on this this is how the app looks like if you look at the url the url is the name of my app dot heroku app dot com this is the url and uh, if i press so right now if you click on anything it's the, there's there's already the validation has been doing etc so this is how our app looks like. At this point, this app is not connected to Salesforce. How? Let me show you. So let's say I wanted to change the contact Tim Bar. So here, what this application is doing, if you provide your first name, your last name of the contact that you want to change the phone number to, you give all this information and then hit update phone number. What will this do is it will update the phone number field here. So let's go ahead and change our Tim bar. So the name, first name is going to be Tim. Last name is bar. The email, I'm going to go ahead and give this as his email address. And then the phone number, let's say I wanted to change to something. Okay. Right now it's 312-596-1000. So we are going to go ahead and up, try to update it. Right At this point, it is not connected to Salesforce, so it's not going to do anything. If you go ahead and do update phone number, nothing happened. Because we are not connected to the Salesforce system yet. So now we're going to go ahead and see how through Heroku application, we will be able to connect with our Salesforce application. 